Did Tyga really dump Kylie Jenner to reunite with his baby mama, Black China? And is Justin Bieber blaming Taylor Swift for his situation with Selena Gomez? Plus, is it true that Selena and Kourtney Kardashian are fighting? And OMG, is it really true that Harry Styles is hooking up with Chelsea Handler? Arriba! <laughs> okay, we got all that and so much more on Rumor Patrol. Here I am welcoming all of you back to Rumor Patrol. You guys, I'm Jocelyn Davis. I'm off the rails. Thank God Rylan Adams is right there with me. What's up? What do you mean off the rails? You don't know what that means? Clearly, clearly we have problems. I just want to know what rails. Some really high ones. Okay. We're well, dangling. <laughs> we have some crazy rumors. We're talking about Harry Styles hooking up with all kinds of girls. Ugh. All right, Jazzy Jazz, for our very first rumor of the day, we're talking about Harry Styles and is he hooking up with Chelsea Handler? Oh my gosh. Is Harry Styles hooking up with like everyone? Yeah. So <laughs> the better question is who isn't Harry Styles hooking up with? Listen, I gotta say, I've met him for like five seconds Shut before. up. Yeah. When? At a red carpet. Oh, okay. And also we interviewed him at the junket for his movie, the 1D movie. Mm -hmm. And like the charisma, the it factor that he has, that twinkling smile, it's like making my heart palpitate already. I need to calm down. Now, thanks to some UK outlets, specifically The Sun, we're finding out that last year, he was involved with a flight attendant by the name of Megan Smith, or allegedly involved with this flight attendant. They met on a plane. But he like couldn't commit or something, right? Right, so let me just tell you the beginning of the story. So <laughs> okay. apparently they meet on a plane and that they had a secret relationship that they quote, really bonded on the plane and things turned romantic quickly. It sounds like the Mile High Club I, if you're oh, asking me. Okay? Yeah, did they take a trip to the bathroom? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just like being totally honest. So apparently they were hanging out from like June to October, things were like kind of serious and their relationship was maybe gonna end up going public and that's mm -hmm. when he decided like, Accent. What do you mean kind of going public? Like she Like the world was gonna find out. Like Because she was gonna like tweet a photo or something? I'm or? not really sure. I just know <laughs> that also this is a rumor. So that's why there's a lot of holes in this story, obviously. So flash forward to now. Do you remember like a while back when there was this photo that Chelsea Handler posted on her infamous Twitter account or Instagram uh. account? where yeah. it's like her butt, like butt in the air, and she's wearing these underwear that just say Harry, and, and he's Harry Styles like <laughs> In the photo, right? Yeah, he couldn't look cuter. He has a headband on, which I don't know how I feel about, but that's neither here nor <laughs> TBD. there. So, rumor has it that these two are knocking the boots. Knocking the boots, huh, Joss? <laughs> Tell me about it. Okay, so here are the details. <laughs> Back in 2015, a source that was with them at a party said, quote, they seem to think nothing of the commotion they caused by plonking themselves together side by side in such an intimate setting. They were on a bed as people rushed around them and they were being pretty flirty. Now, more recently, <laughs> another source is saying that, quote, being wild is Chelsea's natural default behavior and Harry is a free spirit who doesn't care how his actions look to others but it certainly was the talk of the bash. And oh. a lot of people apparently say they're keeping their relationship super playful, which oh, I love, yeah. oh, yes. by plonking themselves side by side on a bed. Plonking? Is that a new word? Like flanking, but plonking? Yeah, Along I'm gonna just angel queen. plonking down on this stool. I'm plonking myself down side by side next to you, Rylan. Okay, so the source continued to say, Harry and Chelsea are friends through Jeff, I don't know who Jeff is, and love to mess around. They also said any suggestion that they have taken things any further than friendship is just incorrect. Well, what kind of friendship are we talking about? Like a French friendship? Uh, is that like where you kiss and make out on your friend dates? Oh, oh, I think so. I don't, I don't know. The word plonking really suggests a lot to me, though. Both of them, though, just seem like people that are down for a good time. So if Super they both flirty. have a few drinks and something slips something, like, <laughs> then it's like, hey, okay. Oh, and I think Chelsea Handler would think this is hilarious. I am absolutely obsessed with her. And when she was like sort of dating or whatever with 50 Cent, it oh. was my favorite pairing. It was my, it is my OTP. You're one true They are pairing. my OTP. I'm so obsessed with them together. And I love that she just like loves all men. Mm. She like doesn't care. No, Did you hook up with her? Uh, yes. I mean, like <laughs> no matter what I'm into, Chelsea Handler is a person I wouldn't be able to say no to. 
And I would hope that she would make a stand-up joke or a chapter yeah. in her book about me. Oh my gosh. I would live for Hashtag that. Hashtag goals. But is it true? Is Harry Styles really hooking up with boinking Chelsea Handler? Chelsea Bond. <laughs> plonking, not boinking. <laughs> is Harry Styles plonking Chelsea Handler? That rumor is totally. so maybe. maybe. Okay, moving on to rumor number two, which has like 17 parts to it, so bear with us. Is it true that Justin Bieber's like PO'd at Taylor Swift for ruining his relationship with Selena Gomez and that now Selena Gomez is involved in a feud with Kourtney Kardashian? Oh, yeah. that's so, how I feel about it. Yeah, that is yeah. correct. I mean, if you guys all remember, Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber, they don't have the best of relationship because, I mean, let's be real, Taylor and Selena are besties. Taylor's always looking out for her girl Selena to not get her heart broken, but then Selena and Justin Justin, they're like one true pairing, they're each other's first mm -hmm. love, so there will always be that bond. Right. Um, but now it has come to our attention. Hollywood Life is saying Justin is blaming Taylor for all the issues he still has with Selena Gomez, saying that Taylor is the one keeping Jelena from ever finally getting back together. What do you think? Okay, listen. First off, I think Taylor is an angel baby queen, and so is Selena. We've already established well, okay. this. And if your friend can, you know, if you're with, if you have a friend who's really looking out for you and you're listening to them instead of getting back with someone, I think that's pretty substantial. Like, mm -hmm. if their love is meant to be, it's gonna be. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Riley. That's awesome. So, okay. okay, but is it true that Selena's feuding with Kourtney Kardashian? Because I just think that is so stupid and I'm so over the stories about like girls fighting over guys. Very seldomly, except on this show, you hear about guys fighting over girls. Yeah, well, okay, so this stems back to Justin's concert, which Selena did attend, which got everybody screaming and crazy, but Kourtney also attended the exact same concert. <laughs> so then it was like, Oh crap, what's gonna happen? And it's been reported that Justin's been trying to get Selena back, but everyone's going crazy. And apparently Justin promised Selena that he was going to end his relationship with Courtney, but he hasn't done so yet. And Life and Style is saying that he told Selena that she needed to just be patient. Oh my gosh. First off, this is totally fabricated and the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hey, hold on, can you be patient real quick while I break up with a few other people I'm hooking up with? Yeah, is that cool? No, that's not happening, it's not cool. <laughs> no, also, Justin and Kourtney Kardashian still blows my mind because that is a couple that is isn't out of Isn't she back with Lord Disick anyways? Like, isn't Lord Disick back in the mix with his beard? I don't know, but she has children, Justin has issues, and Hollywood Life is saying, quote, as of yet, Justin hasn't taken the step to dump Courtney, and Cell is getting impatient over it. She wants the Biebs all for herself and feels totally threatened by Court's relationship with her first love. Hardly, like Selena Gomez is such a catch. I've said this so many times on the show because I feel like we talk about her supposed dating relationships constantly. Mm -hmm. She could literally have her pick of whoever she wants to Anyone. I know I say this all the time, but she's the most highest followed person on Instagram. People want her, people like her. She's hot as H-E double hockey sticks. Yeah. And you know what, Justin- She seems like a good person. Justin's she's missing a good out. person. If, if Justin is just hooking up with Kourtney Kardashian in the meantime while deciding about Selena, homeboy has another thing coming mm -hmm. from him. And ain't him. nobody got time for feuds. Mm -hmm. Kourtney's got three kids. Selena's got like the biggest career ever. They don't have time to be in a fight with each other. That's dumb. Yeah, so people are saying Selena sees Kourtney as a threat, but she and Justin have so much history between them that the insider adds Selena knows Justin will always pick her in the end. 100%. And it, they continue to say that they keep playing these mind games with each other because they both want to wear the pants when it comes to the relationship. So like Selena- Why can't you both wear pants? Like, I, why can't everybody <laughs> wear pants? Why does one person have to be pantsless while the other person steals all the pants? You know how cold that is? Well, don't you think one person's always the big spoon? I think they both want to be the big spoon in the situation. They can take turns being the big spoon. I agree, but like what if Kourtney Kardashian also wants to be partake in the big spoon? Listen, three spoons don't work. There's not three <laughs> spoons in my salad. There's two spoons in my salad. And Too there tongue. needs to be two spoons in Justin and Selena's salad. So one person has got to go. So what do you think? Is, are these rumors true? Is Justin blaming Taylor Swift for his problems with Selena, first of all? 
Uh, <laughs> is Justin blaming Selena for his problems with Taylor Swift? <laughs> no. I think it's the other way around. Is Justin blaming Taylor Swift for his problems with the Selena Gomez? I think no, I think this is false. I think there is some bad blood there though. There like, is, but like- There's some brueling bad blood. There's a lot of brueling in the past, but it's, the brule is in the past. Okay, I don't think they're gonna be like BFFs, but do I think Justin's holding something against Taylor because of Selena? That's totally false. So 2000 and late. But! Is it true that Selena and Courtney are totally fighting over Justin Bieber? Totally false. false. Okay, Jocelyn, moving on to a rumor that just has my mouth dropped, and that is, did Tyga dump Kylie Jenner to reunite with his ex and baby mama, Black China? This is like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it almost. never ends. So here's the situation: Black China is engaged to Kylie Jenner's brother Rob, Rob Kardashian Black China is also the baby mama and ex of Tyga there's a lot of interconnection here but basically at the end of the day and according to this meme if this marriage goes down Tyga will be the uncle to his own son which I just think is so modern family Ugh. I think it's fantastic not, not to mention or not to forget to mention that Black China's BFF is also Amber Rose Amber Rose is like an arch nemesis of Kim K because of right. the whole Kanye situation. Right. So this is a whole huge family debacle here. Wiz Khalifa needs to date some, like Kris Jenner. <laughs> if Wiz Khalifa could date Kris Jenner and wear his leather joggers, I think it would be like, world's complete. <laughs> like it would be everyone all in the same family and all loving each other. And I want to see all of them around a Thanksgiving table. Well, okay. Yeah, that too. But, wow. Uh, Kris Jenner. She also has been put behind all of these rumors mm -hmm. that they're engaged. Like she's starting them, Yeah, kind like of? because she wants to like start a reality show for them. And how do you feel about that? Do you think Chris is behind this relationship? I don't think so. I think that's just like a little bit too much. It's like a little too incestuous within the family. Do I think Chris Jenner is a total boss and makes things happen for her kids? 100%, I think she is like the queen of slaying momagers and I yeah. think she's a genius. She makes everything happen for everyone. But basically, yeah, Chris, hi, what's up? Me <laughs> and Ryland would love to work with you. Hello. So here's the situation though. Is it true that Tyga is dumping Kylie? I think that this all got kind of sparked up in the Twitterverse, mm -hmm. at least that's where we heard about it. And thankfully, Tyga finally went on the record on this long Twitter rant to say this. Everybody deserves to be happy. What someone does for their happiness is not my concern as long as it's not interfering with my happiness. It makes me happy to see the mother of my son happy. My only concern in this situation is my son. I want him in happy environments. He's innocent in this and I want him to feel as much love as possible. He said a few other things, but then he wrapped it up with this gem of knowledge. It's like a knowledge bomb of love saying, cherish yo own blessings and stop hating mine and I think that's what all of us need to do here. I agree. I think that is great words of advice, mm -hmm. but also like I think he should be happy, but he does have a baby with this girl. Mm -hmm. So like there's going to be some drama no matter what, even if he's happy for the two of them getting engaged. What I'm happy to see here is that he's not dumping Kylie for Black China. Yeah, they've been together for a really long time. They seem to be super happy. You know what? We love love. We're happy for all these people. And if they can make this work, I think they should run for president and like try to bring the world okay, together. Okay, Jocelyn, let's not go that far. I mean, let's go that far. Can you imagine Black I would China rather and have, Rob Kardashian I think I'd rather have one world. of them as president than, than maybe of one of the per people that's currently running, not to name names. <laughs> Not, not to talk about Donald Trump. Just right throwing now. it out there. <laughs> he has an interesting hairstyle. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but is this rumor true that Tyga is dumping Kylie? It's totally false. You know what? I got to say, this is another great episode of Rumor Patrol where I feel like you and I are almost in therapy. Like we're really learning a lot about ourselves and the world through the show. We really come to realize who we are. Like realizing. Really face ourselves mm -hmm. in the mirror, figure it out. Um, I really want to know some things. What do you have questions about? You know, I just want to talk about this whole Black China, Rob, Kylie, Chris, the whole situation. What do you guys think about it? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's crazy? Do you think they're going to last? Do you think Kylie and Tyga are going to suffer from the relationship? I want to hear about it. Yeah, do you think this is like the epitome of beautiful or like really confusing or stressful? I have no idea, but I majorly respect all of them. Also, want to know what's going on with the Plunkin situation with Harry and Chelsea? I kind of love it if this is happening. 
I don't know if that's my OTP more than like her with 50 Cent. Okay, I, I mean, I, I just... mean, he took her to the candy shop. <laughs> to the candy shop. The magic stick, all that jazz. Scooting getting yeah, R-rated okay. over here on the patrol. I know, we're out of control, you guys. Thank God it's Saturday and we have a whole... What are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, I haven't decided yet. Are you going to hit the club and pop some bottles? <laughs> I'm not good at hitting the club. I know you hit the club last weekend in yeah, Vegas. I did. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. I was out till like 3 a.m. And then you flew back and at 6 a.m.? And then I got on a, a plane like 15 minutes later. I'm such a jump slammer. <laughs> it, was, it was actually really, really fun. Um, looking forward to what's happening the rest of this weekend, I guess when the show's over. Oh, yeah, what you going to do, girl? can't tell you. I'm going to keep my hands to myself. Watch out on Snapchat, girl. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching Rumor Patrol, keeping Ryland and myself employed. We love you so much. And um, we'll see you next week, right? Yeah, you're beautiful. Beautiful. Never Believe change. It. But wait, click to the left to see Nicki Minaj talking about regretting her feuds. What? Or click to the right to find out what's the deal with Kim Kardashian letting her daughter wear extensions?